Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, we were all looking to Thursday to make that turn away from the rain. We're, we're in the curve right now. We're in the now. curve? Yeah. we got the blinker on. We're making the exit. <laughs> we are. We are. And we've got the sunshine in there for the weekend, and it warms up. So all of that is still on track. It's just that we are still a day or so away. Nice view is still there. All the melting snow, clouds up above, temperature 50 at the airport, not too far away. A little bit of a wind out of the northeast as well. We've got 42 for Gabriel's, Shazy at 53 and 50 in Ticonderoga. So I know this pattern is getting very old, but the big, big turnaround is so close. We do have a lot of showers here showing up southern Adirondacks, southern Vermont as well. There may be a few in northern areas. But generally, it is the clouds that we're dealing with, and they are still a little bit uh, out to the west. But you'll see here on Futurecast that we wake up with clouds tomorrow, and by sunset time, or this time tomorrow, some of us will start to break out into the sunshine, be a nice sunset. Probably not for all, but for some of us, just these little breaks coming through. And then beautiful sunshine, totally clear by Saturday morning. So basically Friday night into Saturday morning is when all of the clouds leave. And we've got that nice Saturday all the way into Sunday. Sunday likely a hair cooler. There may be some clouds, not like the clouds we have now, but a mix of sun and clouds as we go into Sunday. And that really kicks off a very dry pattern. This is the rain map starting Saturday and going through Friday of next week. There may be a little bit of rain that clips southern Vermont early next week, but the general message here is that we've we're got high pressure and it parks itself over us going through the weekend and into early next week, giving us all that sunshine. Couple of ski trails still open. Last weekend for Jay Peak and Sugarbush, temps will be in the 60s. Lots of sunshine is the Jet Triple at Jay, the Valley House Quad at Sugarbush, and of course, Killington tries to make it to Memorial Day, so it'll be uh, more than just this weekend. So temperatures tonight, 30s in the mountains, about 40 or so, 41 in Plattsburgh and Burlington. Clouds, but a mostly dry night. And then as we push into tomorrow, waking up to clouds, but breaks in the clouds by afternoon. 55 for Saranac Lake, very close to 60, though, uh, right in the Champlain Valley. 40, uh, 59 in Virgins, got a 59 in Morrisville. And then as we head down close to the mass border, a 60 for Brattleboro and a 52 in Dover. So here it comes. Clouds giving way to breaks of sun tomorrow. 70 on Saturday with mostly sunny conditions. Close to 70, but a little bit cooler on Sunday with a few clouds mixed in, but it's still a very, very nice day compared to what we've been going through. And look at that. Next week, most days have sunshine. It's briefly cooler Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday especially, but we're still way up in the 60s, still warmer than now. And then the 70s really come back in force there starting on Thursday of next week with sunshine.